Tonight, we're learning Bill and Melinda Gates' divorce has been in the works for about two years. The Wall Street Journal is reporting Melinda Gates had been consulting uh, with lawyers since 2019. When it comes to relationships, especially relationships with celebrities, many don't expect them to last, and thus it's honestly not too tragic when they split up, because it's seen as an inevitability, if you will. However, when certain couples last for many years and then suddenly divorce out of the blue, that's when people are really shocked. A great example of this is happening now with Bill and Melinda Gates. These two have been together for 27 years, have had kids, and are famous for their charity, and yet are now divorcing. What's going on here? Allow me to break it down for you, but before I do that, go ahead and do me a favor leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us and with that being said let's get started number eight the divorce let me get right to it bill gates co-founder and former ceo of microsoft and his wife melinda french gates said on twitter on monday that they will split up after 27 years the two will keep working together on philanthropic efforts which have addressed education gender equality and health care after a great deal of thought and a lot of work in our relationship we've made the decision to end our marriage bill Bill and Melinda Gates wrote in a statement that Bill Gates tweeted out. Over the last 27 years, we've raised three incredible children and built a foundation that works all over the world to enable all people to lead healthy, productive lives. We continue to share a belief in that mission and will continue our work together at the foundation, but we no longer believe we can grow together as a couple in this next phase of our lives. We ask for space and privacy for our family as we begin to navigate this new life. Last year, Bill Gates stepped down from Microsoft's board as the coronavirus became a force around the world. He began spending more time on the foundation alongside Melinda. The two were co-chairs and trustees of the foundation, which launched in 2000. Bill and Melinda Gates both worked at Microsoft. She had been a general manager at the software company where she worked on products such as the Encarta Encyclopedia. The two met at a dinner for Microsoft employees in 1987. It took him quite a few months before he asked me out, Melinda Gates later said. Bill Gates had weighed the pros and cons on a blackboard, and in 1994, the couple were married in Hawaii. It's a match made in geek heaven, if you will, and yet they're divorcing after nearly three decades of marriage, and that definitely has people scratching their heads as to what really went down here. Was it one thing that led to this decision, or was this really a long time coming? Number seven, a combo of things. There were a litany of issues that reared their heads in the lead up to Bill and Melinda Gates' divorce after 27 years of marriage, according to a source close to the two. Throughout their decades together, the billionaire couple reportedly had a combo of things that prompted the split, and the fact that their youngest child, Phoebe, is now an adult, the two simply felt now was the right time to end things for good. It's absolutely because their youngest child is graduating from high school, and the idea was that they should stay together through that, the source says. They limped through until their kids were out of school like a lot of people. Jennifer, currently a medical student, called the breakup a challenging stretch of time on Monday as she panned an address to her friends on her Instagram story. By now, many of you have heard the news that my parents are separating. It's been a challenging stretch of time for our whole family. Jennifer's statement begins, I'm still learning how to best support my own process and emotions as well as family members at this time and i'm grateful for the space to do so i won't personally comment further on anything around the separation but please know that your kind words and supports mean the world to me she continued jennifer also thanked readers for understanding her family's desire for privacy at this time several reports revealed that it was melinda who pulled the trigger on the divorce from the microsoft co-founder in her official court filing indicated that the two had already set a separation agreement in place said agreement was part of a plan by the two to keep things as civil and private as possible. The pair also plan to further their working relationship at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Nobody's going to want to invite more scrutiny because it'll hurt their credibility, the source said. I don't think they're so angry that anybody wants to take each other down like you sometimes see. Melinda is not insensitized for that. Number six, the financial split. Sadly, and yet somewhat obviously, when it comes to what you might call grand scale divorces like this, meaning people who have a lot of wealth when they split up, the question soon becomes that of how the money will get split. When Jeff Bezos divorced from his wife, she took tens of billions in the settlement. So what will happen here? Financial details of the Gates parting ways are not yet clear. Bill Gates owns 1.37% of Microsoft's outstanding shares, which are worth more than $26 billion, according to FactSet. The couple were creators, along with Warren Buffett, of the Giving Pledge, a program that requires participants to give away more than half of their wealth. At one point, the couple decided to move $20 billion worth of Microsoft stock to the foundation as they sought to increase their commitment to philanthropy. Bill Gates wrote 
in a 2019 blog spot. Today, the foundation has more than $51 billion in assets, according to a tax filing, making it one of the world's wealthiest foundations. In the case of Melinda, it is a truly equal partner. Bill Gates said in the 2019 Netflix documentary Inside Bill's Brain, she's a lot like me in that she's optimistic and she's interested in science. She's better with people than I am. She's a tiny bit less hardcore about knowing, you know, immunology than I am. Given that there is a separation agreement in place, it's more than likely that the two have already planned everything out in order to ensure a smooth transition into divorce without having to fight over things. The fact that they're trying to maintain their working relationship says a lot for how the foundation will be handled, no doubt. But until finer details of this are released, it'd be wise to just let things take their course for now. Number five, overlooked. While it's true that there is no definitive answer as to why the two are divorcing, there are clues to be found here and there. For example, when Melinda filed the divorce papers, she noted that the marriage had been irretrievably broken, which is not something you say when you're just falling out of love. It would seem to indicate that there was something more going on. Furthermore, Melinda had hinted that she had sometimes felt overlooked when sharing a stage with her husband. She wrote candidly about those feelings in her book, The Moment of Lift, which was published in 2019. I've been trying to find my voice as I've been speaking next to Bill, she wrote, and that can make it hard to be heard. Another source close to her noted that anyone who looked at her body language at certain charity events that she did alongside Bill could tell that she wasn't happy at all, and that is often a reason for divorce at times when a major face in the world is involved, because they get the attention and despite you doing just as good of work, you're overlooked. Number four, making her own path. Another thing that has become clear with Melinda is that as she looked at her foundation that she made with Bill and how it was progressing, she knew that it could do more than it was doing now, which she made clear in an address during a certain point in New York where she addressed the future of everything. She outlined plans to invest in agricultural yields, micro lending, and fighting infectious disease, and she did so in personal terms that invoked her own travels. She has called that moment a turning point, one that made her want to take on a more prominent public role. She started to speak out as she started to observe some things that the foundation wasn't focused on that she thought were really important around social and cultural elements, the importance of behavior change, the importance of systems, the importance of an integrated approach, said Gary Darmstadt, a medical doctor who teaches at Stanford. He worked closely with Melinda at the foundation, focused on maternal health and access to contraceptives. She realized, okay, I'm going to have to step into a global leadership position on this issue because no one else is really doing it and I've been equipped, said Dr. Darmstadt, who joined the foundation in 2008 and traveled widely with Melinda to places like India, Malawi, and Tanzania. I think it became clear to her that she had to use her voice on behalf of women. Speaking on behalf of women has been something very close to Melinda's heart over the years, especially when she made a company devoted to them. Number three, pivotal ventures. In 2015, Melinda started to mimic something Bill had been doing by making her own special businesses tailored to her desires and interests. One of the biggest ones being pivotal ventures, an enterprise focused on gender equality and social progress. In doing so, she was able to more fully explore interests that had been of little prominence in the early years of the foundation. I thought, I want to have a company that has all the tools to work on social issues for women and minorities. Even in addition to our education work that we were already doing in the foundation, she said to the Times in a talk with them, what I'm doing with Pivotal Ventures is gathering many other people around me to have these cohorts who work on these issues and then also fund them at scale. We don't fund things for women at scale and we should. Number two, relationships. Another issue that popped up during the talks about the divorce was that apparently Melinda was furious with Bill over a certain friendship he had with a certain someone. That someone? Jeffrey Epstein. The two had met in 2013 and Melinda apparently told Bill not to associate with him and was furious when he didn't end it until the next year. And it could have been a catalyst for many things, especially if there were other people she wishes Bill didn't associate with for one reason or another. Number one, the end. Sadly, it doesn't appear that any last minute changes will happen to try and bring Bill and Melinda Gates back together, which means that for all intents and purposes, this is the end of their marriage. More than likely, we're going to hear a lot more over the next several weeks or months about why they divorced or the events leading up to it, and that's just the nature of the beast. The saddest part about all of this is that they went so long together and now it's over. This isn't like a marriage in the celebrity world where it lasts a year before they split up. This one lasted and some real good came out of it, but if that's now over, then we need to respect their wishes of privacy and peace as they sort everything out and move on. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the divorce that is coming from Bill and Melinda Gates? Are you saddened by the fact that this long marriage is ending? Do you think that a lot of things are going to be divided between these two as a result? Are you glad they'll still be working on their charity foundation? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.